Breaking news were fired at a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles restaurant. TMZ is reporting that rapper PNB Rock was hit and he was rushed to the hospital. Gil Levis is overhead in Sky 5. Shock and anger from fans of rapper PNB Rock who was yesterday. LAPD got the call at 1.23 this afternoon of fired at the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles house, uh, restaurant here. Justice has to be served. It has to be served. Good evening. Chief Michael Moore says the suspects were after the rapper's expensive jewelry here at this restaurant. And now there's an outpouring of love and support at this memorial for the Philly rapper. On September 12, 2022, Philadelphia born rapper Rakim Allen, aka PB Rock, and his girlfriend Stephanie Saibon Huon decided to go out for lunch together at Roscoe Chicken and Waffles on West Manchester Avenue in Los Angeles. As the couple sat down to eat together, Stephanie made what she thought was an innocent social media post on Instagram, but as she looked through her phone, Stephanie didn't realize that this was the last meal she and her soulmate would share. In a matter of seconds, an armed gunman burst into the restaurant, shooting Rakim multiple times in the chest and back. PNB Rock was left to bleed out on the floor as the assailant fled the scene. His girlfriend survived uninjured. As news of Rock's passing began to spread, a tense debate raged across social media over who was to blame. Michelle Moore, the chief of the Los Angeles Police Department, mentioned that the target was his expensive jewelry, the property that he had on his person. We believe this senseless hit occurred following a posting on Instagram or social media. The posting of that may have led to these individuals learning where he was at and going there specifically intending to rob him because he's known in the social media circles as frequently possessing very expensive jewelry and property of great value. This led some, including Nicki Minaj, to put at least some of the blame on Rakim's passing on Stephanie for making the infamous Instagram post that included a location tag of where she and PNB Rock were eating that day. Nicki tweeted, after Pop Smoke, there's no way we as rappers or our loved ones are still posting locations to our whereabouts to show waffles and some fried chicken. He was such a pleasure to work with. Condolences to his mom and family. This makes me feel so sick, Jesus. She went on to urge her fellow rappers to educate those in their inner circle about the damage of sharing their location on social media, especially considering that the hit of rapper Pop Smoke in 2020 Authorities believe that Pop Smoke was tracked by his assailant using social media. This led some to believe that PNB Rock, as well as his girlfriend Steph, were too careless when it came to posting. Kodak Black piled on to the pressure towards Stephanie as well, posting on his story that he had just spoken with Rock the night before, and that Steph might as well ended her own life. The sentiment was echoed by some angry fans. But others, like Cardi B, defended Rock's girlfriend from the criticism over her Instagram posts. I highly doubt that people were looking at PNB's baby's mom IG, Cardi tweeted in response. He was in a bad location and people stay outside plotting. It's very irresponsible and inconsiderate to blame her for something so tragic. We should be sending nothing but love to her and his family at this time. Kodak later went on live and apologized for stirring up negativity towards Stephanie, saying that he had been fed false information that led to him to believe that she had been involved in Rock's hit. I don't, I, you know, I don't wish and shit like that, so I give my apologies to her. I hope she keep her head up. No matter who is to blame, one thing is clear. PNB Rock is mourned by many. PNB is remembered by fans who were drawn to his style of vulnerable and melodic rapping, as well as colleagues who mourn the loss of his potential. The day following his hit, local friends, loved ones, and fans put together a memorial outside of Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles where PNB Rock was shot, as well as various places throughout Philadelphia. 
Though the memorials have since been removed, their adoration and love for Rakim Allen live on. Atlantic Records made a memorial post on their Instagram for PNB Rock, saying that PNB Rock was more than an artist. To many, Rakim Allen was a great friend. He was also a wonderful father to two beautiful little girls. This news is heavy on our hearts, and we are all hurting over the senseless loss. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family during this difficult time. PNB Rock was signed to Atlantic Records back in August of 2015. Other fellow artists like Juicy J and Drake offered their condolences. PNB Rock's girlfriend Stephanie then made an Instagram post about his hit. I am 100% not okay. If I wasn't spiritual, I could have ended my life. And then I'll go to hell and my man's not there. My man saved my life, throwing me under the table. I'm not supposed to be here, but because of him, I am. No one would be able to handle this. To be honest, I can't even handle this. To witness what I saw and to keep seeing it in my head, to being forced out of the restaurant, to not be able to go into the ambulance or the hospital, car keys, purse, and phone taken from me, horse in the back of a police car, locked in the interrogation room all night, while all this is going on, and to be the last person in the world to know my man didn't make it after having the faith and confidence that he was. She went on to describe him as loyal and patient. He was teachable and a teacher, and said that she was finally letting the past go and letting him show up as his changed self. Rock had previously cheated on Stephanie, which he confirmed in the lyrics of his song, Need Somebody. According to Steph, she had told PNB Rock the day of the shooting that she felt like he was her husband and her soulmate. She then addressed rumors online that seemed to insinuate that she was somehow benefiting from his passing on Instagram Live. No, he did not have life insurance. No, he did not have a will. No, we didn't have nothing set up. We we're so young. We don't plan. On, we don't plan on death. Like. Stephanie confirmed that she and his children would not be receiving any benefits or financial support because he did not have a will or life insurance. But while some continued to pile the blame on Stephanie, investigators were closing in on what really happened that fateful day. According to the criminal complaint filed by prosecutors, a man in a red shirt watched PNB Rock and his girlfriend walk into the restaurant. This man who was not named in the official document, noticed that PNB Rock was wearing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry. He lurked outside Roscoe's until Freddie Trone arrived in a black Buick Enclave. According to the charging paperwork, Freddie Lee then parked before walking up to the man in red and speaking with him near the entrance of Roscoe's. Freddie then went back to his car and drove off to pick up his son. Freddie Lee Trone then had his son arm himself with the handgun and put on a mask. The pair then began to drive back over to Roscoe's. According to the criminal complaint filed by prosecutors, Freddie then dropped the armed suspect off near the strip mall where Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles is located. The suspect then approached Roscoe's, passed the man in red, and went inside. As he entered the restaurant, the man in red allegedly left. The suspect then approached PNB Rock, who was still in the middle of lunch with his girlfriend. This isn't detailed in the criminal complaint, but according to Stephanie, Rock threw her under the table as he saw the shooter approaching, possibly saving her life. Prosecutors then alleged that the suspect pointed the gun at Rock, shouting, Give me all your jewelry now, before shooting him in the chest. As PNB Rock fell out of his seat towards the ground, the suspect allegedly shot him twice more in the back. He then told Stephanie, show me your hands and demanded, give me that shit right now. I swear to God, I'll shoot you in the head. Before taking her watch and starting to remove the jewelry from PNB Rock's body, allegedly the suspect took Rock's chain, watch, and even removed the rings from his fingers as he lay dying on the floor. Freddie Lee Trone then pulled up in the parking lot outside of Roscoe's. His son rushed outside into the car then fled and allegedly parked the car several blocks from the house and walked home. 
the shooter disposing of his shoes and some of his bloody clothing along the way. Police arrived and took Stephanie Sibonghuang in for questioning, and PMB Rock was rushed to the hospital. PMB Rock passed as a result of his injuries while Stephanie was still in custody. She was never able to say goodbye, but it wasn't long before the assailants were caught. The shooter, whose name is being kept private by authorities, and his mother, Chantel Trone, were arrested less than three weeks after PMB Rock's assassination on September 27th. The shooter's father, Freddie Lee Trone, fled LA and hid out in Las Vegas, but he was arrested not long after his wife and son were extradited back to California. On October 17, 2022, Freddie was officially arrested on suspicion of homicide in Los Angeles with bail set at $3 million. He has since been charged for the hit, one count of conspiracy to commit robbery and two counts of second-degree robbery. His son was given the same charges. Authorities say that the shooter was out on parole or probation at the time of the shooting. He was wearing an ankle monitor and was not being properly monitored at the time. Freddie's wife, Chantel, was charged with accessory after the fact. She pled not guilty, as if Freddie Lee Throne. Further information about their son or the mystery fourth suspect with the red shirt isn't known at this time, as the investigation is still ongoing. On the first anniversary of PB Rock's passing, his girlfriend posted an update. I have been in the deepest depression for a little minute contemplating today's date, which makes a year since your transition. She commented on how deeply the grief of her partner had affected her, saying, The same day last year, you could look me in my eyes and tell my soul was not in my body. All I could hear were the gunshots over and over, and they were so loud, I couldn't hear myself think. I was so terrified and heartbroken. But Stephanie seemed to have found comfort by leaning into her Christian faith and believes that Rock is watching over her from heaven and saying that she would push through and be joyful and celebrate you like you asked me to do. For I know this earth is temporary and we will spend eternity together. She says that Rakim Allen is a legend and not only that, but a hero. PNB Rock leaves behind two daughters, Milan Allen and Zuri Lee Saibon Huang. According to family and friends, PNB Rock was a devoted and loving father to both his little girls. Though it's unclear who the biological mother of Milan is, Stephanie treats both girls as her daughters and continues to care for both of them on her own after PNB Rock's passing. Rest in peace, PNB Rock.